Hey, good morning everyone. It's Donna with Living Acts 29 Church and today I'll be continuing a, a year in the Word with Deuteronomy 3. Then we turned and went up the way to the Bashan and Og the king of Bashan came out against us, he and all his people to battle at Edrai. And the Lord said unto me, Fear him not, for I will deliver him and all his people and his land into thy hand. And thou shalt do unto him as thou didst unto Sion king of the Amorites, which dwelt at Heshbon. So the Lord our God delivered into our hands Og also, the king of Bashan, and all his people. And we smote him until none was left to him remaining. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we took not from them. Threescore cities, all the region of Argon, and kingdom of Og and Bashan. All these cities were fenced with high walls, gates, and bars, beside unwalled towns a great many. And we utterly destroyed them, as we did unto Sion, king of Heshbon, utterly destroying the men, women, and children of every city. But all the cattle and the spoil of the cities we took for prey to ourselves. And we took at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorites, the land that was on this side of Jordan, from the river of Arnon unto Mount Hermon, which Hermon the Sidians call Syrian, and the Amorites call it Shinir. All the cities of the plain, and all Gilead, and all Bashan, unto Salkan and Edrai, cities of the kingdom of Ad and Bashan. For only Og, king of Bashan, remained of the remnant of giants. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Is it not in Rebeth of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth of it, after the cubit of a man. And this land which we possessed at that time from Aror, which is by the river Arnon, and half Mount Gilead, and the cities thereof, gave I unto the Reubenites and all the Gadites, and the rest of Gilead and all Bashan, being the kingdom of Ad, gave I unto half the tribe of Manesh, Manasseh, and all the region of Argog, with all Bashan, which was called the land of giants. Jar, the son of Manasseh, took all the country of Argon unto the coast of Geshuri, and Mahathi, and called them after his own name, Bishan Hoveth Jer, unto his day. And I gave Gilead unto Mahir, and unto the Reubenites, and unto the Gadites, gate from Gilead, even unto the river Arnon, half the valley, and the border even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon. The plain also, and Jordan, and the coast thereof, <clears throat> from Chinrith, even unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea, unto Ashdoth, Pisgah, eastward. And I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God hath given you this land to possess it. Ye shall pass over armed before your brethren, the children of Israel, all that are meat for the war. But your wives and your little ones and your cattle, for I know that ye have much cattle, shall abide in your cities which I have given you. Unto the Lord have given rest unto your brethren, until the Lord has given rest unto your brethren, as well as unto you, and until they also possess the land which the Lord your God hath given them beyond Jordan. And then shall you return every man unto his possession, which I have given you. And I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Thine eyes have seen all the Lord your God hath done unto these two kings. So shall the Lord do unto all the kingdoms whither thou passest. Ye shall not fear them, for the Lord your God, he shall fight for you. And I besought the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness and thy mighty hand, for what, for what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might. I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain, and Lebanon. But the Lord was wroth with me for your sakes, and would not hear me. And Lord said unto me, Let it suffice thee, speak no more unto me of this matter. Get thee up into the top of Pisgah, and lift up thine eyes westward and northward, and southward and eastward, and behold it with thine eyes, for thou shalt not go over this Jordan. But charge Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him, for he shall go over before the people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. So he abode in the valley over against Beth Peor. Have a good day, everyone.